This is my Beretta 92X RDO G model. Uh, I've done quite a bit to it. Things really sweet. It's a great shooter. Got an optic on it, of course. I'm gonna go over it in this video and, and what I did. The main star of the show is gonna be the Langdon Tactical trigger job in the bag on this guy. And then just some other kind of controls and uh, bits like that to, to fit it to my liking. So on this gun, I have Lock G10 grips. They're my favorite G10 grip manufacturer. These ones are really, really grippy, really nice. I went with a gray color because I wanted to. This is a Wilson Combat Extended magazine release. I have a Wilson Combat uh, steel fluted guide rod in there. The factory guide rod's plastic. I don't like that. Um, this has the Beretta 92X performance trigger that I put in it. I just like the profile and feel of it better than the factory trigger. Um, this has the Langdon Tactical trigger job in a bag. I went with the Wilson Combat Hammer um, and a 14-pound mainspring. In addition to that, I got their steel uh, mainspring plug here because the factory one's plastic. Again, don't like that. Um, this is a G model, so it's decocker only. I don't want this thing getting stuck on safety, especially for, you know, defensive carry type of guns if you're going to do that um, decocker only on double single action is the way I like to go this is a factory optics ready gun this is the factory Beretta plate it's made out of steel it's extremely heavy it's 1.5 ounces it weighs more than the Trigicon itself um, and it sits up there a little bit high looks a little bit goofy um, I will roll in some pictures and, and footage of me manipulating the gun with that red dot on there to get an idea of what it's like as it sits up on the top and aiming through it and stuff. Um, and then I'll go into more detail about the Langdon tactical trigger setup. I like the factory sights that this gun comes with, blacked out serrated rear and a kind of high visibility front. Um, if I was going to use these iron sights, I would swap this out for a fiber optic front so it was better in low light conditions. Um, Beretta does sell suppressor height sights for this model, but I don't think they would be high enough to co-witness through here. Also, the RMR is so bomb proof, I don't really feel like I need backup sights and I'm not really going to carry this gun for any... Uh, any, you know, duty or self-protection type of purposes, so I'm not worried about that. Of course, the uh, Langdon Tactical, or Langdon Tactical has a really sweet RDO cut for these. They re-engineered a whole bunch of parts, get it real low. They have a nice uh, plate with a sight on it for co-witness and stuff, but you cannot send your slide in and have them done. You, you have to buy the whole slide, and it's $575, I think and then gets more expensive from there if you add more options and I only paid 650 for this gun to start with. So I'll deal with uh, the factory red dot setup and kind of the, the heavy plate and, and the goofiness of how tall it sets up and stuff. It's not, not that big of a deal to me. It still shoots really nice. So the factory trigger is really pretty good on this. Um, double action's heavy, it's probably more than 10 pounds, but it's pretty smooth. Um, I've already gone in the slide and uh, shinied up the contact between the firing pin safety block and the actuator for it, which you can see that little guy right there is the firing pin safety block actuator. So I polished the top of that and I polished it on the block where it rides. Um, so really the double action is pretty nice and smooth, single action. Take up, nice defined wall. 
very, very small amount of creep. And then a nice crisp break with minimal over travel. And a really short reset. I think these 92X pistols have some sort of short reset uh, mechanism or trigger bar in them or something like that. But um, yeah, the uh, reset's nice and short. Single action trigger pulls really good on this from the factory. Um, let's see what it is on the trigger pull gauge. So this is factory other than the little polishing on the firing pin block I did. The five and three quarter pounds, so a little bit heavy. Five and three quarter pounds again. So here's the trigger kit that's going in the pistol. It's a Langdon Tactical trigger job in a bag. Um, I went this route because I wanted to see how good it would be. They're you know kind of world world renowned for their Beretta stuff. Um, the really cool thing about it is it comes with all the parts already stoned and polished, uh, so you don't have to. So here's the new sear, and you can see it's already polished where all the contact faces are and kind of deburred and dehorned. Um, new hammer strut with the end of it where it interfaces with the hammer all nice and polished up. Uh, new, f new mainspring. This is 14 pounds, which is slightly reduced power. But you can see it's closed ground and polished right there. So that's likely the end that goes on the hammer strut right here. Uh, I went with the Wilson Combat Hammer. Um, and it's all, you know, polished up, shinied up, ready to go. Uh, it come, comes with a new trigger return spring and a new sear spring. Um, I'll have to see how I like this because I do not like reduced power trigger return springs. They always make the reset feel uh, mushy and less positive. I don't think this is reduced power. I think it's the same power. It's just chrome silicon versus uh, music wire, so it'll have a, uh, it'll last for more cycles. But that's what comes with the kit. Uh, you know, an optimized trigger bar that likely will shorten the take up and the reset. Um, and then I also went ahead and got one of their machined metal. Uh, mainspring housing plugs because the one on the 92x uh, from the factory is plastic and I just don't like that I believe this is machined aluminum so that's what's all going in the gun in addition to that I have the factory Beretta performance trigger um, I don't think this does anything in terms of take up reset or trigger action it's just a shoe profile that I like a little bit better a little bit flatter right here and has some texture on it all right Langdon Tactical trigger job in a bag installed on this guy. I got the 92X Performance trigger. I really like the feel of it. Feels good. Um, the trigger is insanely good now. Like this might be the best single action trigger I've ever felt. Um, comparable with like high end 1911s for sure. So now double action's a lot lighter. I don't know if it's uh, just almost maxed out the scale. Um, so anyway, still nice and smooth, bit lighter. The single action now is insane. Um, there's the take up, no creep, super crisp break, no over travel. And the reset is unbelievably short. Absolutely nuts. Let's get it on the gauge. So we were at five and three quarter pounds before, now we're right at four. Yep, right at four pounds. Uh, yeah, that Langdon Tactical Kit is, is top notch. Phenomenal, phenomenal stuff. Highly recommend it. Uh, just got back from the range, got some more rounds through this thing. Um, it did function totally reliably with uh, my 115 grain, like, laser brass range ammo with the factory recoil spring with all this extra weight up here. Um, the factory recoil spring weight is 13 pounds, uh, but I was getting kind of some lazy ejection. So just to make sure it's really reliable, I dropped the recoil spring weight to 11 pounds um, to make up for the weight of this uh, optics mounting plate and the optic on top of the slide. 
And also I shot a bunch of hard primered steel case ammo through it. And the Langdon Tactical 14 pound hammer spring gave me really reliable ignition with that as well. Anyways, that's what I've done to this. Uh, this is like the ideal Beretta 92 setup for me. We got the rail for flashlights and stuff and, and um, you know, optics ready. And I got it all feeling and shooting like I want. It is it is really primo, really happy with it. Um, one thing I do want to get is a threaded barrel for this. I reached out to Silencer Co. And they, it looks like they might be doing another production run of those. The other options Jarvis Custom, but those guys are pretty expensive. The Silencer Co. barrels are like $100 cheaper. Um, so I'm going to try to get one of those if, if uh, Silencer Co. ever ever does another production run and of course um you know these are great suppressor hosts and i already have a, a pistol suppressor that's 45 caliber that i would run on this thing